Welcome to the Real Estate School of New York. I'm going to be going over the difference between simple interest and compound interest. Interest, by the way, is the cost of borrowing someone else's money. We are going to make a few assumptions here. We are going to assume that the loan amount is $100,000, the interest rate is 7%, and that we're going to be using this money over a period of two years. With simple interest, we take the principal, which is the loan amount of $100,000, and we multiply that by the interest rate of 7%. We come up with this annual interest of $7,000. This is for the first year. If we want to calculate additional years, we'll just take the number of years and multiply it by the annual interest. So, the annual interest being $7,000 multiplied by two years will give you a total interest earned of $14,000. Compound interest works a little bit differently in that the interest in the first year will be added to the principal and will become the new principal. In the first year, we're going to have $100,000 multiplied by the rate of 7%, which will give you $7,000. The first year is the same exact example as in the simple interest. In the second year, however, that principal and interest get combined and become the new principal. So, we add the $100,000 with the $7,000 and come up with the new principal of $107,000. We multiply that by the fixed interest rate of 7% and we'll get the second year's interest of $7,490, a total of $14,490. As you can see, the difference between the simple interest and the compound interest loan is $490. That's all you need to know about the difference between simple and compound interest. Thanks for stopping by, and please visit us at resne.org for the rest of your real estate education needs.